is my black elderberry bush. This was taken from a wood cutting from the mountains. And I love, love elderberry. Elderberry has a lot of great medicinal properties. It's an antiviral and immune boosting berry. So I wanna show you how I propagate it. I have several friends that would like starts from this. So I thought that I would make a video on how I do this. Now the best time to do this is when the plant's about to go out of dormancy. So in the winter when it's about to pop out of dormancy, and for Utah, that would probably be in March. I'm doing this a little bit early. So I actually did this in the summer from wood cuttings in the middle of the summer and it worked just fine. Um, and those plants are growing really well. So I wanted to get a few more for some friends. So let me show you how I do this. First, you'll wanna get at the base of the plant. If you look down here, you'll see some young shoots coming out. You wanna to try to get younger ones. There's one back here that's really good that I wanna actually cut. I'm going to cut this back here. Make sure the part that you want the roots to grow out of is facing down. It's what pointed down. So to make sure I got some over here. So you don't want to plant that turned around like this. You won't have roots grow. And if they do, they won't ever become a plant. So we want to have, make sure there's a bud. You can see the leaf nodes right there. And I will cut diagonally just so I know which one's supposed to go down and which one the roots are going to be growing from. You can take a few leaf nodes, one, two. I'm just going to do two, one for the roots and one for the leaves. That's what I'm going to do. And you can continue to take this. Make sure you don't get mixed up. Make sure the part that was going down is still going down. So we're gonna do diagonally where those nodes are and across the top. I'm going to take a few more back here. Let's see. I'll take this one right here. All right, so let's do diagonally at the leaf node. This, one, oh, this one's a little thicker than I really like to do. I like them to be thinner. So and then we'll go across. need to get a better clippers. All right. I don't really like that one. Let's try to find another small one back here. Let's see. Is there any inside here? Here's a big one. Let's grab that one. Actually, that one looks like kind of junky. So let's see if there's one behind here. I'm going to go behind here. I know there's one back here. So I found another one. So let's do right here where there's a leaf node. Let's do diagonal. And then let's go across right here. So we know which ones go down. Again, another leaf node. We actually have some buds starting to get ready to form. So we're gonna go diagonally right there. Next one across. All right, so if you can see all the ones that I did diagonally or pointing down and now I'll know which ones go where it goes so I'm gonna go stick these in water you know if it's a little bit warmer you can plant these right in the ground and just keep the ground moisture moist but I'm going to put these in water because our ground still is freezing right now so let me show you how I do that so I just fill up a quart jar with water and stick the cuttings inside. You can use a rooting hormone. I don't, I don't have any right now, so I do, it works without it. And then I'll stick this in the windowsill. And sometimes the leaves will come out before the roots form, so I'll just take those off until, so it can focus on root growth. Last time in the summer, this took uh, about two months to grow roots. So be patient and you will see them come on. So change that water out every three days. This is what the roots looked like after about two months when I did this in the summer.